In the heart of a bustling city lived a young woman named Maya. She was known for her radiant smile and her unwavering ability to understand others. Maya possessed a remarkable gift. The ability to truly empathize with people. This gift wasn't merely about putting herself in their shoes. It was about feeling their emotions as if they were her own. Maya's empathy was so profound that she could perceive even the most subtle shifts in someone's mood. Maya's close friend, Daniel, was her most significant confidant. They shared countless memories, from childhood escapades to the challenges of adulthood. Despite his deep bond with Maya, Daniel remained perplexed by her extraordinary gift. How do you do it? Maya? He asked her one evening as they strolled through a nearby park. It's not something I do consciously. Daniel, she replied, her eyes reflecting the setting sun. It's more like a connection that happens naturally. When I look at someone, I see beyond their exterior. I see their emotions, their struggles, their dreams and that helps me understand them on a profound level. As time went on, Maya's reputation as an empathetic friend spread throughout the city. People sought her out when they needed someone to talk to. Someone who could make them feel truly understood. But there was one person who was skeptical. Mr. Thompson, the owner of a small antique shop that Maya frequented. One rainy afternoon, Maya entered the antique shop. Greeted by the familiar scent of aged books and polished wood. She found Mr. Thompson sorting through an assortment of trinkets on a worn-out table. Maya noticed the creases on his forehead and the sadness in his eyes. Good afternoon, Mr. Thompson, she said warmly. Is everything all right? Quote. Mr. Thompson looked up, surprised by her genuine concern. Oh, it's nothing. Maya, just some business troubles. You know. Maya's empathetic nature kicked in instantly. She could feel the weight of his worries in her chest, Mr. Thompson. I may not fully understand the intricacies of your business. But I can sense that you're going through a difficult time. If you'd like, I'm here to listen. Mr. Thompson hesitated for a moment. Then sighed deeply. Over the next hour, he poured out his worries about the declining business the mounting debts, and the looming possibility of having to shut down his beloved shop. Maya listened intently, her heart resonating with his fears and anxieties. After their conversation, Maya left the shop, her mind swirling with ideas. She knew she couldn't solve all of Mr. Thompson's problems. But she believed her gift of empathy could make a difference. She reached out to some of her friends who shared her passion for antiques and collectibles. And together, they organized an event called, Treasures Rediscovered. The event showcased Mr. Thompson's antique shop and the unique items it held. Word spread quickly, drawing crowds of people eager to explore the hidden gems of the store. As they wandered through the aisles. Maya's friends engaged visitors with stories about each artifact, drawing them into the magic of history. Amidst the hubbub of the event, Maya noticed Mr. Thompson watching with a mixture of surprise and gratitude. She approached him, a sincere smile on her face. You see, Mr. Thompson, empathy isn't just about understanding someone's emotions. It's about using that understanding to create positive change. Over the weeks that followed, Mr. Thompson's antique shop experienced a renaissance. With the newfound attention, customers flowed in, and business began to flourish once more. But it wasn't just the financial turnaround that impacted Mr. Thompson. It was the genuine connections he formed with the people who walked through his doors. As time passed, Maya's story of transforming a struggling antique shop through empathy became an inspiration. Throughout the city, people began to realize that understanding and compassion could weave threads of connection even in the most unexpected places.
Maya's gift of empathy continued to touch lives, reminding everyone she encountered that empathy wasn't merely a feeling. It was a catalyst for change. Her story spread far and wide, reminding people that in a world that often felt disconnected, a single empathetic soul could create a symphony of understanding, compassion, and transformation.